Well, and I think, so Beth was like, what inspired you to have this um, theme for today's Q&A of what yeah. are we consuming? Like, let's look at what we're consuming, what's nourishing us. I think that was even a small part of it is, mm. Um, what are we coming to? What yeah. are we yeah. um, drinking of, eating of, feasting on? Yes. Um, instead of the Lord. Mm. <laughs> because every single thing that our eyes feast on, that our mouths feast on, that we taste, that we touch, everything. I say, I'm just thinking of this now. Beth has been doing this really amazing, like um, holistic, mm. like not eating, but like, it's like in all ways. You know what? My what? dear friend Emily Wilson is okay. such an intercessor for me. I mean, we're, well, yeah, what a gift. Yeah. And when I shared with her kind of what I'm doing. Yeah. Which does involve weight loss, you know? Yeah. I, and that's really. But not just that. Totally. Yeah. It It's actually so much more holistic yes. than that. So she will text me and say, how's your health program? And I'm like, no. health program? That, that is, is the amazing. greatest. And that's, that's very real. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, just, i just thought of this right now, like every single, as you learn more about health and holistic yes. living, yes. you realize that every single thing you touch that you put on your body that you consume yes. matters. Yes. Like, I think we think like, oh, lotion doesn't matter. Soap doesn't matter. <laughs> like totally. all of makeup. those things, makeup, what all I, of those things matter. Mountain Dew. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Somebody here <laughs> drinks Mountain Dew. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to tweak it. Okay. Somebody, hundreds of people drink Diet Coke. And I just want to be here to tell you today, Diet Coke is poison. <laughs> you are poisoning yourself drinking Diet Coke. Oh, and I can tell you man. that oh, as a man. person who drank a lot of Diet Coke for many, many years. <laughs> And Someone I gave, gave it us up. a thumbs down on YouTube for that. You guys, <laughs> don't be mad about it. Yes, I'm coming for the Diet Coke, Hilarious. Sarah, because you're dehydrated and you're <laughs> drinking Diet Coke to take the edge off. Look at all these sad faces. Diet Coke is poison, Jamie said. I know. It took a very long process to heal my body from it. It was so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not trying to get on the Diet Coke train, but what I'm saying <laughs> is it does, everything matters. Yeah. And I, I heard, um, I went to a conference. I, I heard this this talk months ago, and and it it very deeply touched me because it gave me language for something I've been experiencing for a long time, which is that everything forms us. Mm -hmm. Everything forms us from our lotion, like what products we're using on our body, what we're eating and drinking, who our friends are, what we read, what we listen to, what we watch, and the thing is. If we're not intentional, if all of these areas that this like holistic experience of life is not under the lordship of Jesus Christ, if it's not being discerned and shared and 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 adopted in light of the gospel and in light of the values of the gospel, then we're being malformed. We're being formed according to the image and the values of the world. And and those things are very subtle, but they get in and they get hooks in us and throw off other areas, seemingly unrelated areas. I think a lot, I've been thinking a lot probably because of my health program, how much like the frustration and the discouragement we feel spiritually mm. could be because you're not getting enough rest. You're just literally not sleeping enough or you're drinking too much caffeine and not enough water. These sound so simple or you're scrolling endlessly. You're consuming a lot of yeah. stuff. And even when I say endlessly, I mean 20 minutes. If you're just in like a zone out scroll cycle, you're you're taking in a lot. The eyes are the window to the soul. What, what you're taking in is forming you. And we want to be sure that you're not being malformed. We want to be reformed in the image and likeness of God. And we can do that by addressing all of these different areas. Yeah, I think I've thought previously that some things just like don't matter. They're like mm. a spiritual neutral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but more, I wonder, a more neutral. Yeah, yeah, but I do wonder if like the way that I eat, um, I don't know, things like that do matter more than I give them credit. So I had a for. dear, I had a dear friend last night. Yeah, who we were chatting, and she was being so cute. The Lord really highlighted something because I asked yeah. them, 
to just I to just ask the Lord for one thing mm -hmm. because it can be overwhelming. Like yes. you know, this thing that I'm doing is pretty all encompassing, yes. and that can be very <laughs> overwhelming if there's not the grace and the invitation from God to enter into something like that. And we're doing it in our own strength. It's overwhelming. But this mm -hmm. sweet friend of mine, she said, when I prayed, the Lord very clearly showed me my weariness in this area around food. And, and she's the opposite. She has a very limited diet because of just some like chronic illness stuff. And the Lord in his great compassion said, I, I want you to get some help in this area. This is really taking a toll on you. Wow. He cares about that. He, he cares more than we care about our health, about our energy, about our, our mental health, about our peace. He doesn't only care about the spiritual, you know? Wow. It's very convicting. Isn't that beautiful? It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and so last week I also was reading this. I We read Divine Intimacy. I say we. I don't know if we still are. I'm not reading it right now. <laughs> I read it with some of you members. I know it because we talk about it in the I, app. I saw you share it the other day and yeah. I was like, I got to get back to DI. Yeah. But anyway, I'll tell you later. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, I was reading this thing in DI, which I cannot remember the exact quote. Um, as I, anyway, but uh, he was quoting Jesus saying um, the greatest commandment, which is love mm. God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, all of your body. I don't think I said those in the right order yeah, yeah. or strength. Yeah. yeah. Um, but in DI, he was saying whole instead of saying all. He was saying your whole. Wow. which I think is just a different translation. Totally. Um, but it was so beautiful to me, the conviction within divine intimacy from God, Father Gabriel, which was, it's not just a piece of your heart. It's your whole heart to love God with your whole heart, mm -hmm. your whole mind, mm -hmm. like not just the part of my mind that isn't on social media. Like, Lord, you can have every other part of my wow. mind, except for the part that flirts or is on social media or um, it reads romance novels or mm -hmm. uh, watches the Kardashians or mm -hmm. binges Beyonce. Like you can have my whole mind, God, except for that sliver. You don't get access, God, to that part mm -hmm. of my heart or my mind or my body. And it was so convicting to me in that there wasn't a piece of me that I wanted to shield from the Lord anymore. Like I if Jesus is asking me and he is a Lord of my life to love God with my whole heart, I have to give it all to him. Mm. So that means I have to turn away from the things that I maybe want or my body wants or my flesh wants and instead say like, he is Lord of my life and I give him my whole heart. Yes. 